Hello and welcome to STEM Think Tank today. I'm Miss Cora with the Weyburn and Estevan Public Library and today we are going to make bird feeders. Now if you haven't already you can pick up your take and make kit here at the library. Uh, I think we have a few left so you may want to just call just to see if we have any left. If not, these are the ingredients that you will need or the supplies that we will need for today. So you'll need two cups of bird seed. Now you'll want to make sure that, um, that it is for wild birds because once we are finished with our bird feeders, we are going to put them outside for the birds to eat, okay? So of course, we there's a variety of birds out there, so you'll want to make sure it's for wild birds and then you'll want two packs of gelatin so I have two packs here a half a cup of boiling water so you'll make sure you have some adult supervision because it is very hot of course you'll need a bowl to mix everything in in your kit, you'll find two, uh, two small uh, tin containers here. You can use these, or if you would like, and you have uh, cookie cutters at home, you can use those as well to make different shapes. But this is what we're going to use today. Okay, so the first step to make or to do is we're going to dissolve our gelatin into the water. So empty your packs into your bowl. And then you're going to pour half a cup of hot water. It should be boiling. Mine was just boiling just a couple minutes ago, so it's still steaming. Pour it in onto your gelatin. And you'll want to stir it until the mixture is all dissolved. So you want to make sure there's no powder left. So we'll keep stirring until it's completely dissolved. I think my gelatin is dissolved now. So now you're going to take two cups of bird seed and mix it in. You're going to stir in, mixture, stir really well together so it's very well blended. Because you'll you want it to stick root well. You don't want any loose loose seeds, so you'll want it to stick very well. Okay, I think my mixture is well blended. As you can see, there it is. It's all ready. Now I'm going to take my two containers. And I'm going to spoon half into each container. So about half full. So I can about get into the middle part there. And you'll want to push down with your spoon as, as you're sticking it in with the back of your spoon. So just like so, I'm going to do the other one the same. So about half full. Ok, 
Okay, so now we have, both of them are half full. Now you're gonna take your twine that's in your kit. And if you don't have twine, you can use string, that's fine. You'll wanna tie it into a knot, tie it together. both of mine together here. Okay, and then now stick it kind of in the middle there because you want to make sure it doesn't fall out. So I would stick it somewhat about halfway there in the middle, so you want some hanging out, but half of it in, okay? And then now you're going to fill the rest of your container up with the rest of the bird seed. Make sure, hang on to your String there to make sure it doesn't fall out. You want to make sure it's in there really good. Use the back of your spoon to push down. Now you can, if you want, you can use the uh, parchment paper to use your hands to push down. Uh, but I did find that a back of a spoon works quite well as, as well. try my other one now okay so this is what it should look like once you get it in. And then now you need to let it sit and dry for about 24 hours, okay? So you wanna make sure, just set it aside, let it dry. Once it is dry, I have some that I made ahead of time. So once it is dry, you're gonna pop it out of your container I can get the other one here. Looks like there's a little bit of and now we have two bird feeders. So now what you'll do is you'll go and hang them outside on a tree somewhere where the birds will be attracted to it. Uh, and the great thing is, or the fun part now, is to watch and see what kind of birds will come and eat on your bird feeders. So you can, I would love to see pictures of, of your bird feeders once and even Maybe you can catch a picture of some birds eating it one day and send it to me. And you can even keep track how many different kinds of birds that uh, are eating off your, off your feeder. And I bet that you might even have a squirrel or two that might try to eat it as well. <laughs> I know I have squirrels at my house and I'm sure they'll try to eat some as well, but that's okay. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this activity. If you haven't picked up a take and make kit, please call us and see, I think we do have a few left. Thank you for joining me again, and we will see you next time.